So folks, welcome to a Friday night slash Saturday morning with the Aslan 7 with a, uh, another Freak Festa box breaks. We're going to start off with some baseball tonight, moving on to some hoops, and then finishing off with some football. And uh, then I'll be moving on to the bed to sleep. No, we thought I was going to say hockey, right? But i got to draw a line at some point. I follow hockey uh, to a certain extent. I watch it during the playoffs and whatnot, but uh, at some point... Enough is enough, you gotta say. Um, I doubled my subs last night, which was really freaking cool. Uh, I want to name two people in particular that I want to give shout outs to. Number one is uh, Chad, aka uh, Thundering24, and the other one is uh, Joe Holman. Uh, you guys did a great job uh, posting uh, a couple of vid responses, sub, sub videos, I guess, for me, and uh, some of my stuff shot up. There were a few other guys who also put some vid responses. The list is too long to name, but thank you to all of you guys. But in particular, I wanted to thank the first two guys because they did a real phenomenal job, and I know they have a lot of subscribers, and I'm sure I got a lot of hits from them. So uh, thanks a lot. I want to give you your props on that. I appreciate it. All I want to do is just bring some more box breaks to the community out there. Um, I know a lot of the guys out there are converting more towards doing group breaks and uh, you know things of that nature, and I still want to keep it pure here on YouTube uh, with just some simple box breaks, showing off what I'm getting, um, you know, trading, selling, buying, stuff like that, and the occasional uh, group break and uh, doing some insane stuff like I did last night. And no, I was not doing any of that kind of stuff last night. Uh, I wasn't high. I was totally logical and rational when I was giving away all that free money of uh, free money of breaks. So thank you for everybody who signed up to that stuff. Uh, really appreciate it. Uh, this is just a vid, just uh, basically telling everybody thank you from the bottom of my heart. Uh, excuse me. Um, yeah, thank you for everything. Thanks for your support and. Uh, I'll be doing a lot more of these for the foreseeable future. Collecting is something that I do and that I have done for a while. And, uh, you know, just uh, one more bit of advice for you guys who might be younger or newer to the, to the, uh, to the collecting. Um, whatever you do, don't treat it like a business. Seriously. Um, you can get lucky and you can make money off of it. But for the most part, you're not going to do that. Um, you will have some cards that will be premium cards, and you'll be able to sell it. Uh, you'll be lucky, and you'll be able to hit a you know a ten thousand dollar card every now and then. Uh, but seriously, how often is that going to happen unless you buy you know cases on a constant basis? Um, really, is not going to happen. The casual box breaker is not going to get that kind of stuff. So, uh, guys, just be realistic. Uh, do it because first and foremost, you love collecting cards. Um, if you want to do it, just make some cash on the side here and there too. Do it, but do it casually. Don't go to, don't go overboard with it. Um, the only way I can really see you making money off of this is if you bought cases all the time. Oh wait, never mind. No, but seriously, uh, if you bought cases all the time, the probability of your hits obviously go up. And uh, yeah, you know you can get some good cars that can uh, pay your way, and you can marginalize your profit a little bit. But other than that, you know, there's really nothing else. And the number two thing I want to mention is longevity and endurance. Uh, it goes with real estate and anything else out there in life. Uh, if you get a card and you know it's going to be a player that's going to be good, have a Hall of Fame career, hold on to the card. Do not sell that card for the immediate short-term turnaround profit. It's not the way it works if you want to make money off of it. Uh, that's just my honest opinion. You know, case in point, look at rookies of some of the greatest legends in the game. Larry Bird, Michael Jordan, Fleer 86, enough said. Um, Peyton Manning rookies, uh, Joe Montana rookies, Jerry Rice rookies. So take that all into consideration. Respect your cards. Respect a card no matter what it is, even if it's a base card. Because that same card that you chuck off to the side because you say, well, it's numbered to 2,000 something. This doesn't mean anything. There are going to be 1,800 people out of that 2,000 that hit that card that are going to do the exact same thing that you're doing. And in 10 years, you'll probably be one of the very few people that has that card still in mint condition. And you'll be laughing your way all the way to the bank or as a uh, valued card collector, basically. So 
That's it. That's my advice for tonight. That's my appreciation and love that I'm showing out to uh, showing showing to you guys. Um, I'm sure you've heard enough of me rambling. I think it's time for some box breaks. What do we say? Stay tuned.